Coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Vitor Belfort and Alexander Volkov. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The Russian is 31, the Brazilian is 36. Volkov weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true... Oh! Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And now he's 
got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That knee might have landed there. Volkov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Boom. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. That strike blocked by Belfort. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, blocks the shot. Big punch man over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volkov. Huge block there. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. My goodness. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Beautiful strike. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, big elbow. Misses with the left hook. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, huge knee to the head. Where is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 30 seconds now to go in round one. That knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Straight punch lands. 15 seconds. Lunges forward with a left there. Big kick lands. They continue to exchange. Five minutes in the books. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, 
he will get the victory. Are you ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Good punch. put his opponent on skates. Dig and kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Nice punch, land. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Volkov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. And they separate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Battling for hooks. Volkov's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. Checks the leg kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Misses with that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it slips a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. And they separate. Fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his... Oh! He's out! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Bing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander. is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.